Hey, be honest. Do I look stupid with this thing on? Bro, take that shit off. What are you doing, bro? Take that shit off. I mean, you don't have to hurt my feelings. I mean, I was just, I was just asking an opinion, you know? Why do I even, like, why are you in this video anyways? Hey, you invited me. I'm the class clown. I'm the one they come for, okay? See why he has breathing problems. I can barely breathe in this. Shit. But, uh, anyways, guys. Let me turn on my shitty lightsaber. Are you gonna bring out your lightsaber? Or your light stick? You will like this review. Remember to stay after the credits. What's up guys? So, I'm back. I know I've been, now I've been posting my TikToks on my YouTube and thanks to the people, all the new people, thank you for coming and watching one of the reviews. Appreciate it. Oh, one more thing. I'm not in the right uniform. Better uniform. Don't ask me where I got the shirt. I don't remember, but I got this hat from Disney World or Disneyland, the one in Florida. And as you can tell, I might have Hint, hint, I might have a giveaway at the end, so be on the lookout for that. It won't be right at the end. You have to watch. Mandalorian Season 3. I'm glad I was able to finally talk about Mando. Was I disappointed this episode or this season? Mm, let's get into it. Let's start off with the stuff I didn't like right off the bat. I didn't like how they took away everything that made the last seasons or what they've been doing in general like call van coming back to life after getting shot by that cool character cad bane before going any, any further no i've i'm watching i'm currently on first season of clone wars sorry but the first season is really slow i hope it gets better guys let me know down in the comments when it gets better um another thing i didn't like rogu coming back in boba fett i mean I didn't like that. It just, it just kind of diminished the ending of season two. Cause season two, man, that was like peak. Man, I don't think we're gonna get another season like season two. Season two is just phenomenal, phenomenal. Any that beats hands down anything that Disney Star Wars has done, hands down, bro. Like I know the Luke Skywalker thing was a big thing, but for me it was whenever Mando took off the helmet. So man, that Grogu, man, dude, that shit. Mmm, that hit, bro, that hit. Now that we don't have that anymore, it's just, mm, I don't know how to feel about it. It's just like they, 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 that happened, and then they're back together. Another thing I didn't like is that Moff Gideon is back. He just kind of comes in last second. They keep beating him, and it's just making him, like, less intimidating, I guess. I mean, that's how I see it. And I know, guys, I'm, I'm a Star Wars. I, I'm a casual Star Wars fan. I'm not going to lie. I was, I grew up with the Star Wars movies. You go on my podcast when I finally upload a video on there. Uh, I'm going to see how much of a giddy fan I am. Um, Darth Vader on the bus as well is coming up. Review with a buddy of mine. But not to get on a tangent. Another thing I didn't like is that IG-11 is back. And his sacrifice doesn't mean anything anymore after season one but yeah i mean i that's that's the stuff i didn't like because it kind of diminishes the story in a way and the way they set it up in the last season where i before i started this i did not trust bo katan i just don't trust her i haven't watched clone wars all the way through i heard she's in there but i don't care about her i'm being i'm gonna be a hundred percent with y'all i don't care about bo katan until this season at first i thought she was gonna be the main villain because it seemed like maybe Mando's gonna be the reluctant leader that has to bring all the tribes together. And here's another thing, guys. I'm becoming a way bigger fan of Mandalorians than I am Jedi. Let me know how much you hate me in the comments below. below. But man, dude, I'm really loving like the Mandos and like how honorable they are. And I seem to vibe with their ways more than with the Jedi. The Jedi seem very like cut off from other people and i know it's not supposed to be like that the way it, that's why they fell but yeah i thought she was gonna be the villain i thought she was gonna like scheme her way to getting the the, the lightsaber the, 
the saber back. But Bo Katan seemed like she was gonna become the enemy. She was gonna kind of try to backstab Mando or sway the other Mandalorians to her cause. That's where it seemed like it was heading towards. I don't know whether they didn't know what direction they wanted to take. I really don't. And these guys, guys, these are just critiques. I love the show. I'm just saying, can you fix this next time so I could have a better enjoyment of the show without having to second guess myself on the story? I mean, the more I enjoy the story, the less I can look at the big problems or at the problems of the story. But going back to it, Bo-Katan, I didn't trust her at first and I didn't like her because she seemed really salty whenever after season two and I was like, She's gonna be an enemy with that look. I was like, eh, she's gonna have problems. They're gonna have problems. But overall, I ended up growing a lot of respect for Bo Katan, and I genuinely want to know what's gonna happen to her. But I think that's another critique of this thing. It felt more like a Mando handing the torch to Bo Katan because it felt like it was more for Bo Katan than actual Mando. And I didn't, it wasn't bad, but it's just, I wanted more Mando. That's why I showed up for the show for. I mean, I'd really, I mean, I'm not a Clone Wars guy, but I came here for Mando. You know what I mean? But, and I know some people like, they like to say, oh, it was slow. But I mean, if you watch the other seasons, they were a little slow and then it picks up at the end or like they were just one offs. There was one episode. It was a really good episode. It was a solid episode. It was the one with the Empire stuff, but I didn't, I mean, they could have just said that in a quick scene. I feel like it could have been done way better. Like we couldn't use that episode for something else for like development more between Bo-Katan and Mando. I didn't have no problem with, uh, what's her name? Jack Black or Lizzo in the in the show. Um, I know Nerd Tooney, he made a really good point. I don't know if y'all follow him, but you should. He said, if those fans come in and they watch the show, they like the show, they go back and watch the whole thing. We got a new Star Wars fan. And I would really like more people to jump on the Star Wars train. But, I mean, those are my biggest problems. I mean, I really do like this show. Like, I like to be honest, guys, this is the reason why I don't like watching shows because this type of stuff happens where they kind of undo everything that happened that resonated with people in the last season to make the story continue this season. Like, I did not like in Boba Fett how Grogu comes back. I mean, I wish he could have stayed a little longer and like it could have like got stretched out to the point where like, you know, the audience says that they shouldn't be back together, but they want to get back together. And you know, it's kind of like that push and pull thing or the characters, they want to be together, but then you know, the audience is not good for them to be together type of stuff. And just like the way they ended it in season two is just, oh man, chef's kiss. It's just incredible. And the Star Wars battles. I mean, the action stuff, Hands down, awesome, awesome stuff. Because honestly, I think even myself and the expectations that I put on this show, I didn't ex like. I didn't get what I wanted, I guess. But it wasn't a bad show at all. If I had to rank this, it would probably be the lower part. Of yeah, I just, I just wasn't feeling that. What do you, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad season. It's just, I mean, season nine. I mean, season two is like a nine, like a nine or a ten. Season one is probably like an eight, maybe a nine, but this season, I'll probably give it a seven because I was just hoping that Mando become like the leader since he's been accumulating like people around him. I would have liked that personally, just remove that episode and then put something else in there. We didn't really need that. We could have just said that in a, in a quick dialogue because I mean, I mean, I wasn't one of the ones that liked the sequel trilogy. I, what was it? Episode 9? Something like that. It was the first one. And then I didn't like The Last Jedi or the one afterwards. Okay, overall, this season, I did like it. I'll give it a 7. I'll give this show a 7. Let me know what y'all thought. And for those who actually stayed and watched the whole entire part, I got here a Mandalorian black series look at that this so i ended up getting two of them by accident i forgot that i pre-ordered this like a long time ago and it came back it came in in the mail like the late last year and i ordered it whenever season two came out or like close to season two and i already bought that one when i got if you would like this let me know what your favorite episode was down below in the comments 
and whoever answers first and i'll get your contact info either through instagram or tiktok if you follow me on those websites please do or if not on facebook i'm on i'm on every platform now which is crazy i didn't expect that but thanks guys again subscribe go and watch my boba fett versus darth vader i will be doing darth vader vader down i will do that eventually but i'm going on i'm going to austin so i'll get this up as fast as i can either before or after but deuces guys i really appreciate y'all watching see y'all later deuces guys